Hello and welcome to WebDevMentor's YouTube channel and you're watching Programming in Java series by beginners. So in this video we're going to see about the data types Boolean and Char. Boolean. Boolean represents one bit of information. So it's going to be only one bit. So if you're storing something in a Boolean variable or Boolean data type, it's going to take up only one bit. Why? Why only one bit? So the reason is there can be only two possible values that can be stored in Boolean variable. So it's going to be either true or false. So for setting true, you can use 0 or 1. So the opposite of it is false, which is going to be the other value. So it's going to take up a very simple value. It's going to be the true or false. So the default value that comes with Boolean is false. So if you're not specifying the value for the Boolean variable, it's going to take it as a false. And unless you change it to true, it's going to stay as false. So Boolean is used in places of simple flag to track true or false conditions. So you can use Boolean in places where you want to set a flag for some conditions or for checking something. So you want to set a flag like, okay, it happened. It validated the condition. So I'm going to set this as true. So you can also use Boolean in places where you're going to check for the condition. So if loops, while loops, and do while loops, you can use the Boolean values. So the next data type that we're going to see is char. Char stands for character. So char is a single 16-bit Unicode character. So you can store character values in char. So it can be uh, A or B or C or something that denotes only the character. So the minimum value that you can store in character or char is slash U0000. So it's going to be a Unicode value. You won't be understanding it because it's an Unicode character. But you can store it as a character that you can read like A, B, C, D, something like that. Even numbers can be stored. It will be stored as an Unicode character in CAR. The maximum value it can store is slash UFFFF. So that stands for a number 65,535. Well, CAR is used to store any character, of course. You can store any characters. It can be a capital A or a capital B or a small a, small b, or it can be a number. It can even be a symbol. So you can store slash, dash, and colons, something like that inside a character. So when you're storing a character, you have to use single codes around the character that you're going to store. So we'll be seeing the practical declaration of these data types right now. I'm going to open my notepad with administrative rights as usual. So I'm going to, as usual, import the basic class in Java, java.io.star. Sorry about that. And I'm going to declare my class named as boolean and char. And now I'm going to declare my main method, public static void main. So it's going to have the parameters string args as an array. Now I'm going to declare the boolean value, boolean, boolean variable. So if I'm not assigning any value to that, it's going to take a false. So it's going to have the default value false. So we'll be checking it anyway. Care, I'm going to create care variable, c equal to w. So it's going to take only one, sorry about that, only one codes, single codes around the character. So I have created both the variables. I'm going to print it out now. System dot out dot print Alan. So first I'm going to print out the Boolean variable. We're going to see what it's going to print out. System dot out dot print Alan. And it's going to print out care variable. So I'm going to save it inside my program files Java JDK 1.8.025 bin folder. So the name of the class or the name of the file is going to be the name of the class I have saved. So it's going to be boolean and care dot Java. So I've saved it. I'm going to use my command prompt with administrative rights in order to run the program. So right now I'm going to go to my folder where I have saved the file. Java. 
JDK 1.8 star CD space then. So this is the folder where I have saved my file. So I'm going to compile my file. It's going to be boolean and care dot java. And seems like I have some error. Let's see what's the problem. Might not have been initialized. So you have to initialize a value even though it has a default value. So I'm going to initialize it as false. I'm going to compile it right now. So it's going to have the value false. So we have compiled it successfully. So I'm going to run it now. Boolean and care. So we have the values printed out false and W. So if you can't see it clearly, I'm going to zoom in. You can see it now, it has false as value for the Boolean value and W for the care. So you can store it as true. I'm going to recompile it. I'm going to run it. And it's going to have true and W as character. So you can also save numbers, store numbers as a character, recompile it and run it. It's going to be nine. And you can also use symbols in place of the character. It's going to actually store it as a Unicode character, so you won't actually understand what it does. So you can see that it's saved it as at. So that's the end of the implementation part. So that's the end of this uh, video. Thank you for watching. And we have completed all the data types that we can see in primitive data types of Java. There's also reference data types in Java. We'll be seeing that later on when we have clearly seen the class and objects. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hope this was useful. If you find this video useful, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also share this video to your friends. And if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it. You can share that in the comment section or in the Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus of our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.